everybody, it's Angie Rupert, founder of Rupert Law Group. We handle exclusively E2 and E1 visas. And so no matter what treaty country you're from or what state you wanna be in, we can help. Um, before we start today's uh, video, I would really love to ask you to subscribe and like this video. And of course, feel free to share with a friend or relative if they're interested in the E2 or E1 visa. So let's get started. Today, I wanna to talk about a very important issue that comes up a lot. What should I get, an E2 or an L1? Great question. So we're gonna talk a little bit about today about the difference between the two, who is better suited for which, okay? now. Overall, I'm an E2 visa attorney, so take this for what it's worth, but the E2 is far superior to the L for a vast majority of clients, and I'm gonna to talk to you about why that is. So the E2 visa, for many people, is good for a matter of years. Usually, for most people, not all, you've gotta check your visa reciprocity, but for most people, it's gonna be good for two to five years, renewable indefinitely. For the L1 visa, for many people, it's only good for one year before you have to renew. And there are quite a few hurdles that you need to uh, go, get beyond in that first application, that first renewal, in order to get it renewed, okay? So that's one thing to kind of keep your eye on. In addition, the E2 has a little bit less scrutiny, again, because of the longer lead times. So for the E2 visa, you need to show that the business is doing well and is kind of well on its way to success after five years. That's the requirement. For the L1 visa, they want to see progress a lot faster than that. And they do have more scrutiny on the renewals for the L1s, okay? Um, in addition, when you do an E2 or an E1 visa, um, you will have to go through one government process. What does this mean? So the United States has two entities that are heavily involved, and more, but for our purposes, two entities that are heavily involved in immigration. That is USCIS, under the Department of Homeland Security, and um, the consulates and embassies around the world, which is under the Department of State. And many times, for almost all types of visas, with the exception of the E's, there are a couple of others, but for most visas, you have to go through both, um, uh, you have to go through both departments in order to get processed, right? So you'd need to go through USCIS, get approved, then they send that information to the Department of State, then you go to an interview, and they do an interview and review the documents again. They do not have to listen to USCIS, and in fact, I've had some clients who have been approved through USCIS for a different visa, go to the interview for a different visa, and get denied. So they end up coming to me to do an E2. So for the E2, you either choose one, you go through the Department of State, U.S. consulates and embassies, which is what I almost always recommend, or you go through USCIS to change status. For an L, you need to do both. You don't have the option to do one. So again, to recap why the E2 is, in my view, superior to the L1 is the E2 usually has a longer reciprocity fee, meaning or longer reciprocity time, meaning you have more time before you have to renew. You can get the business operational. Number two, the E2 has less scrutiny in most cases for renewals. And number three is that um, the there's only one type of government entity involved with the E versus the L you have to go through too. So it's just a little bit less work. So those are the reasons I find it superior. Now, there are people who are better suited to L1s, specifically those who are from a non-treaty country, right? Sometimes it's your only option. And that is the most common time that I recommend in L1. For others, it could be if you have a very successful business in another country and you are coming over maybe for a shorter period of time to simply launch the U.S. entity and then you're considering going back. There are other times that if a, 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 a green card is in your future and you have an incredibly successful business outside of the United States, it may be worth your while. But for the most part, the E2 is going to be a better option. So with that, if you're interested at all in the E2 or the E1, please contact us at any time. We'd love to speak with you. Thanks so much and have a great day.